Chapter 1 The Whispering Woods The night air was thick with mist as Emily and Alex stood at the edge of the Whispering Woods, a dense, ancient forest that bordered their small village. The moon, a mere sliver in the sky, cast long, eerie shadows between the twisted trees. Rumours of a mysterious creature lurking in those woods had always been a part of village lore, but lately the whispers had grown louder, more urgent. Emily, a curious and brave 12-year-old girl with bright eyes and a wild imagination, felt a tingling sensation of excitement mixed with fear. She had always been drawn to the mysteries of the forest, its secrets calling to her like a siren's song. Next to her, Alex, a cautious but loyal 13-year-old boy, clutched his flashlight a bit too tightly. His heart pounded against his chest, a rhythm of apprehension and thrill. He would follow Emily anywhere, but the dense, shadowy woods under the cover of night were testing his courage. As they stepped into the forest, the sound of the village faded away, replaced by the symphony of nocturnal creatures and the rustling of leaves. The air was cool and damp, sending shivers down their spines. They moved slowly, cautiously, their eyes scanning the darkness for any sign of the creature. Suddenly, a low, guttural growl echoed through the trees. Emily and Alex froze, their breaths catching in their throats. The sound was otherworldly, unlike anything they had heard before. Emily's curiosity flared, overtaking her fear. She needed to know what was out there, what secrets the woods were hiding. Alex, however, felt a surge of primal fear. Every instinct told him to turn and run, to escape the unseen menace that lurked in the shadows. But he stood firm, not wanting to let Emily down. They exchanged a look, a silent agreement, and pressed on, deeper, into the whispering woods. As they ventured further, the forest seemed to close in around them. Branches reached out like twisted hands, and the mist obscured their path. The growling had ceased, but the feeling of being watched, of eyes lurking in the darkness, was palpable. It was then that they stumbled upon the first clue, a set of large, unusual footprints, unlike any animal they knew, pressed deep into the soft earth. The realization that they were not alone, that something was sharing this space with them, sent a chill down Emily's spine. Yet, her eyes sparkled with the thrill of the unknown, the adventure that lay ahead. For Alex, the footprints were a stark reminder of the dangers of the forest. His mind raced with thoughts of what creature could make such marks and whether they were brave or foolish to continue. But his loyalty to Emily and the unspoken bond they shared kept him moving forward. As the chapter closes, Emily and Alex stand at a crossroads, literally and figuratively. The path ahead is shrouded in mystery and danger, but the allure of the unknown is too strong to resist. They step forward into the darkness, into the heart of the whispering woods, where their adventure truly begins. Chapter 2 The Shadow in the Moonlight Under the watchful eye of the full moon, the whispering woods transformed into a realm of silver and shadow. Emily and Alex, hearts pounding in their chests, had set up a makeshift camp deep within the forest. The air was heavy with an eerie stillness, as if the woods themselves were holding their breath. The flickering light of their campfire cast dancing shadows on the trees, creating ghostly shapes that seemed to move and whisper in the darkness. Emily tried to appear fearless, but the haunting atmosphere of the woods under the moonlight made her skin crawl. She felt a growing sense of unease, an instinctual warning that they were not alone. Alex, meanwhile, was battling his own terror. Every sound, every rustle of leaves seemed amplified in the silence of the night. His imagination conjured images of creatures lurking just beyond the firelight, watching, waiting. The memory of the unusual footprints they had found earlier fueled his fear, making him jump at the slightest noise. As they settled into an uneasy silence, a sudden movement caught their eye. A shadowy figure, large and indistinct, moved gracefully through the moonlit glade. It was there one moment, gone the next, like a wraith in the night. Emily's heart raced with excitement and fear. This had to be the mysterious creature they were seeking. 
Gripping their flashlights, they decided to follow the figure, curiosity overcoming their fear. As they moved, the forest seemed to come alive around them. Owls hooted in the distance, and the underbrush rustled with unseen animals. The shadowy figure stayed just out of reach, leading them deeper into the heart of the woods. The deeper they went, the more surreal their surroundings became. Trees twisted into strange shapes, and the mist swirled around them like ghostly fingers. Emily felt a mix of terror and wonder. She was part of a story, a legend in the making, but the reality of their situation was beginning to dawn on her. Alex, his fear reaching a crescendo, was on the verge of suggesting they turn back when they entered a clearing. In the center, bathed in moonlight, stood the creature. It was unlike anything they had ever seen, a majestic being that seemed to be part animal, part something else entirely. It turned its luminous eyes towards them and for a moment, time stood still. The creature's gaze was penetrating, almost human in its depth and intelligence. It seemed to be studying them, just as they were studying it. Emily felt a connection, a sense of understanding passing between them. The creature was not the monster of their fears, but a living, breathing being, alone and misunderstood. But the moment was shattered by a sudden, piercing howl that echoed through the woods. The creature tensed, its eyes widening with fear. Emily and Alex felt a surge of terror. They were not the only ones who had been following the creature. From the shadows emerged a new threat, more real and terrifying than any ghostly apparition. A group of poachers, armed and dangerous, intent on capturing the mysterious being before them. The chapter ends with Emily and Alex hiding, watching in horror as the poachers advance. They realize they are the only ones who can protect the creature, the only ones who understand its true nature. The weight of this responsibility settles on their shoulders as they prepare to face the dangers ahead, both known and unknown. Chapter 3, The Secret of the Creature. In the heart of the Whispering Woods, under the cloak of night, Emily and Alex found themselves facing a perilous situation. Huddled behind a large, gnarled tree, they watched as the group of poachers closed in on the mysterious creature which now seemed more vulnerable than ever. The creature, sensing the danger, let out a low, mournful sound that tugged at Emily's heart. She could see the intelligence and fear in its eyes, and she knew they couldn't just stand by and let it be captured. Alex, despite his overwhelming fear, nodded in agreement. They had to do something. With quick thinking, Emily devised a plan. They would create a distraction, luring the poachers away from the creature. Rummaging through their backpacks, they found a flashlight and a whistler. Alex would circle around and create a noise and light from the opposite direction, drawing the poachers away, while Emily would guide the creature to safety. Executing their plan, Alex dashed through the underbrush, his heart racing as he flicked the flashlight on and off, imitating the movements of someone lost and wandering. The poachers, hearing the noise and seeing the light, fell for the diversion and headed towards Alex. Meanwhile, Emily approached the creature, speaking softly, reassuringly. Surprisingly, it seemed to understand her intent and allowed her to guide it away from the clearing. Together they navigated through the dense woods, Emily marveling at the creature's gentle nature despite its formidable appearance. As they moved, Emily learned more about the creature. It communicated in a series of soft sounds and gestures, conveying its loneliness and fear she realized it was the last of its kind, a rare and magnificent being whose existence was unknown to the wider world. Back with Alex, his heart pounded as the poachers neared. Just when they were almost upon him, he threw the flashlight in one direction and sprinted in the other, using all his knowledge of the woods to evade them. His ploy worked, scattering the poachers and buying them some time. Reunited, Emily and Alex, along with the creature, found a hidden spot to rest. They knew they couldn't return to the village without drawing attention to the creature. They decided to spend the rest of the night in the woods, formulating a plan to protect their new friend. As dawn approached, 
the chapter closes with the trio watching the sunrise together. Emily and Alex had transformed from curious children to protectors of a rare and beautiful secret. They knew the road ahead would be challenging, but they were determined to keep the creature safe no matter what it took. The Whispering Woods had become more than just a place of legend. It had become a sanctuary, a haven for the last of a mysterious and wondrous being. Chapter 4 Guardians of the Woods As the first light of dawn filtered through the trees, Emily, Alex and the mysterious creature they had come to think of as Luna, owing to its luminous eyes, began their cautious journey back towards the village. The morning was serene, but the air was thick with unspoken questions about their next steps. The children knew they couldn't reveal Luna's existence without endangering it. They also understood the importance of protecting the Whispering Woods, now a refuge for this last of its kind being. With determined hearts, they devised a plan to save both Luna and their beloved forest. Upon reaching the outskirts of the village, Emily and Alex initiated their plan. They started spreading stories about the woods, not of the creature, but of its sacredness and the need for its protection. They talked about strange, beautiful plants and rare animals that needed a safe habitat to thrive. Their enthusiasm and sincerity caught the villagers' attention, sparking a sense of communal responsibility towards the woods. Meanwhile, the threat of the poachers loomed. Emily and Alex knew they had to be vigilant. They organized night watches with the help of some trusted friends, creating a secret group of protectors. They called themselves the Guardians of the Woods, a name that held a sense of mystery and honor. One night, as suspense hung in the air like a thick fog, the poachers returned. The Guardians, led by Emily and Alex, were ready. They had set up traps and distractions throughout the woods, using their knowledge of the terrain to their advantage. The poachers found themselves disoriented and outmaneuvered at every turn. In the chaos, Luna, guided by Emily and Alex, moved silently through the shadows, a ghostly guardian in its own right. The climax came as the poachers, frustrated and desperate, found themselves surrounded by the guardians. In a tense standoff, the poachers realized they were outnumbered and outsmarted. With the authorities alerted by another group of guardians, the poachers had no choice but to surrender. As the poachers were taken away, the village's perception of the Whispering Woods shifted. It was no longer just a forest. It had become a symbol of unity, mystery and protection. The villagers declared it a conservation area, ensuring its safety from future threats. In the final scenes, Emily and Alex visit Luna in their secret spot within the woods. They feel a bittersweet mix of triumph and sadness, knowing their encounters with Luna would be less frequent to maintain its safety. But there's a silent promise between them and the creature, a promise of protection, friendship and respect. The chapter and the story closes with the woods returning to its peaceful state. The mystery of the creature remains a secret known only to the Guardians. Emily and Alex look back at the Whispering Woods, a place of adventure and wonder, forever changed by their experiences. They had not only protected a creature, but also preserved a world where such wonders could still exist, a testament to the power of courage, friendship, and belief in the extraordinary. Like, share, and subscribe.